Hey guys, it's Irish again. Um, in this video, I was going to take a look at WMII, which is the predecessor to I3. Now, I'm going to be talking a lot with I3 in this video, just to let you know, um, because this is I3 spawned from it. So, WMII stands for Window Manager Improved Improved. So, I3 uh, derives from it, which is I3 is window manager improved 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 so uh, you'll see many differences and some why the i3 developers decided to branch from it and why to rewrite the entire code uh, there is a google talk with uh, i believe the founder of i3 stating uh, there are certain layouts and certain things that he wanted to do with it however he couldn't hack it or the code wouldn't allow it or something similar to that um, so he decided to create i3 from scratch and to make simpler code so that anyone who's a non-programmer could read it. Um, I'll link that talk. It is a very good talk down below. But uh, I'll show you guys a, a little basics of WMII. So very similarly to any window manager, if you open up one, by default the mod key is the Windows key, but I changed it to the Alt key. So if we do an Alt Enter, it opens up your terminal here. And then if you keep going, you'll notice that it is in the default is the stacking layout, which personally I do not use the stacking layout at any time, nor the tab layout in i3. So if you wanted to go up and down on this, you would just do a mod K and then a mod J to go down. But say you wanted to tile this, you just do a mod D, and this will tile. But say you wanted to move over to the right or to the left, like this middle one, you do a mod shift L, and it will go over. So this, in, this here is one column. This is another column. So if we're on the right column here, and we do a few more, you'll see that it defaults back to uh, stacking layout, which again, and then if you wanted to move this to tiling, here again, mod D. <coughs> Say you wanted to uh, go back, so we're on this column here, so say you wanted to go back to stacking, it would be mod S. That's very similar to an I3 also. And then to close programs, again similar to Awesome and Xmonad, you just do a mod shift C and then it will eliminate that. So say you wanted to float, it would be a mod shift spacebar. And then if you hold down the mod key and left mouse, uh, mouse click, then you can drag it. Now if you wanted to resize it, it's mo uh, mod and then the right. So you can make it however big you want. I know a lot of people who do floating and screenshots like to do something s about this tall and it would be somewhere down here. So say you wanted to go back, be mod shift, uh, sh mod shift, spacebar. Now, I don't know if this does come by default or if it's D menu, but if you do a mod P uh, down below, you'll see what looks like the D menu. If we do like uh, Thunar, which is my file browser, it, you know, in regular D, D menu, you can highlight and scroll over, but it doesn't look like you can do that here, so that's why I don't know if this is exactly. Uh, D menu or not, or if it's built in. So you're seeing a little bit of why the i3 developers decided to move. Because if I wanted, let's go back to stacking. Say I wanted to move to the right to a right column and do a mod L and do it again and hit enter in i3, that would have shifted over to the right. But here you have to first probably highlight what you want, mod shift L, and then do it that way. So you can't predetermine if you want to do it vertically or horizontally. 
Now let's uh, take a look at the configuration file. So uh, if we just do a vim, it's in .wmii, and then there is an RC file. So this is where you can change your mod key. Again, it's mod 4 by default, and that shows you the up, down, left, and right. And then by, de by default also it uses xterm, so right here is where you can change that. And then this is the normal color, and then this is the focus color. And then I'm sure down below is the bar, and you could I'm sorry, the bar is right here. And then you can do the WMI background, the font, and then you can redo. Here's the status bar right here. So I believe the i3 developer wanted to do something with the bar. Um, and, that's, and he couldn't do what he wanted. But I believe you can configure this but I don't think it is as extensive as an i3 so I personally I would after I done reviewing this I'm most likely not going to be on this again I can see how it could be good for a certain workflow but it would you would have to relearn everything um, that you've learned from i3 or Awesome or Xmonad or HL or any of the number of other window managers. So if you guys want a bit of a challenge, uh, be my give it a shot. Um, the other thing I could not figure out, I have Googled and everything and tried to go to the IRC channel. I don't know how to reload or even log out of WMII. I would I had to do a issue a reboot. So that's another downside to it. Maybe it's a uh, a possible key combination I'm missing, but uh, you know how the Arch Wiki has everything. I can't find it. I can't find it in here, uh, the Wikipedia article, nor the Google code and it's got the source code issues wikis downloads I just don't know how to refresh it or reload it because if I change any one of those things you have to re get out of it somehow or re start your whole computer so again you guys can take a look at it see what you think and if anyone of you guys know how to do it uh, please put it down in the comments because I'm curious uh, how to refresh WMII. Um, in the next video, I'm going to, uh, a few of you guys have been curious how my Gen 2 experience has been going, so uh, I'm going to make a video on that on Saturday since it will mark my two weeks that I've been solely on uh, Gen 2. So I'll let you guys know what I've, any issues that I've been having, uh, what I think about it overall, and if I will stay on Gen 2. So uh, look forward to that for on Saturday, and you guys have a good night, and I'll catch you then.